Yo guys, what's up? It's Tim Bursons here from Amplified Metabolism, and I have another great video for you today. This one, we're gonna be talking about my recommendations for choline intake. I've talked about choline in a couple other videos and got a few comments asking, you know, specifically what I recommend. Um, and there's a lot of good reasons that we need to have choline in our diet in the first place, so I figured do a whole video about it. Make sure that you guys know exactly what you need to do. All right, so first off, why is choline important? Like what's What's so special about it? Um, does it like make your metabolism go crazy or like what is it? Um, it actually is indirectly important for your metabolism. So when I say that, I mean that taking choline on its own is not just gonna like boost your metabolism and, um, and, and get you burning calories and get you hot and all that stuff, but it is a necessary component, especially because of lipogenic substances like fructose, which are very metabolic. So fructose is incredibly me metabolic, as I've talked about in other videos, but at the same time, it also can be turned into liver fat. And if the, fat, the liver gets too much of that fat and doesn't stay lean enough, functions start to slow down, it starts to cause a bunch of problems in the body. And we don't want any of that because obviously we want high metabolism and a, a, you know the liver is so important for metabolism. So anything that's gonna hurt the liver is gonna hurt metabolism and then fructose isn't hurting metabolism and obviously that's not what we want. Okay, so we need to make sure that the fructose is not causing the liver to store fat. And that's where choline comes in. Choline in the liver, will combine with the liver fat and turn it into cholesterol to be exported out of the liver. So in other words, instead of the liver storing that fat and it getting all of its functions messed up, the choline will help it just become cholesterol, move out of the body, where it can be used for bile acids, where it can be used for steroid hormone synthesis or as an antioxidant or cell repair, all the crazy good things that cholesterol does for the body. Don't confuse high cholesterol with like that heart disease thing that's uh, completely, uh, poor way of viewing at it, viewing the whole situation. It doesn't really make sense, doesn't really work that way. It has more to do with the system as a whole and cholesterol is usually raised to help combat some inflammation that's causing heart disease. It's not the cholesterol that's doing it. So that's why we need liver. It's important for supporting all of the nutrients that do boost your metabolism. Now, so how much did you get every day? I, I try to get somewhere between one to two grams of choline. Now that's a pretty high dose. That's a really high dose of choline. But the reason I do that is because there's a bunch of other benefits in addition to exporting liver fat into cholesterol. Things like methylating estrogens out of your body, taking a, being, helping your liver to export or to uh, excrete all of those, um, all the, the harmful hormones that you don't want and all the other things that you need to get out of your body. And so having more choline helps with that. So I like to take up to one to two grams. Now the thing is, it's pretty hard to get that without supplementation. So if you're gonna, if you wanna go that high route, I really recommend getting some choline by tartrate, either in pill form or in, you can get one of those big bags from Powder City for like 10 bucks and it lasts you a really long time. Um, and you just add that to a smoothie or something, it's usually what I do. Um, but if you're gonna go natural route, just eating food, I highly recommend just aiming for 500 milligrams a day. That's like kind of your minimum. Now eggs have like 200, 250 uh, per egg uh, milligrams. So if you have two eggs a day, you're pretty close to that thing. Throw in liver every once in a while. Liver has between four and 500 on its own. So you throw that in two to three times a week and you're pretty much hitting that 500 milligram goal every single day. Now, <clears throat> the thing is uh, you wanna stay away from too many PUFAs. Eggs have you know, decent amount of PUFAs in them. Not anything crazy, but like about a gram per egg. So usually I say stay on as low as you can with PUFAs, definitely stay under five grams per day. Um, and if you are gonna eat them, take a lot of vitamin E, try to combine it with some coconut oil or some other saturated fat to help dilute it and prevent those free radical oxidation things that end up happening. Um, and then, uh, so, that, so don't overdo it with the eggs, include liver every two to three times a week. Make sure you're getting at least 500 milligrams but if you want the estrogen methylation and the extra uh, benefits to it, go up to one to two grams like I do, and you should be good. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I also have in the, in the description, I have a metabolism quiz that will teach you uh, what your metabolism score is with, within the spectrum of, uh, of low metabolism to high metabolism and all the scores in between based on a couple of the symptoms. And then I give you a video to kind of like help you get from where you are into the higher metabolism area. So check that out below and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.